All right, I want to talk to everybody now about how you take a picture that you have saved to your directory and how you place it and wrap it around the image that you want to work with. So first thing you got to do, and you can see I already have a rectangular row right here that's already in 3D. Let's say I want to put a picture that will be on the top surface of this row. What I want to do first is identify the surface that I want to work with to put the picture on it. All I got to do is click on the surface itself and say I want to add a sketch on top of it. That will prompt me to this screen here, in which time I can now select the image that I want to work with. You actually have on your, well, depends on the year of the program that you have, but there's an icon in the upper right corner generally that says insert image. And all you got to do is click on that. And then you got to go to your directory or your flash drive, wherever you have saved the image that you want to work with. And you go from there. I got to find my pictures. That's where I have all mine. And this is where you select the picture that you want to work with. Let's say I want to put a Mountain Dew emblem on there. I'll go ahead and double click on that. And then I'll just click one time to say I want this image on this sketch. Okay. The biggest mistake people make at this point is they try to start trying to adjust the image size. They don't do that. What you actually have to do is just click finish sketch up in the right corner. Now you can work with the size of the image by clicking on any of the four corners of the image. So if you want to readjust the size of the image, this is where you can do that. See, like right there, I can shrink it. You can also expand it up if I'd like. Okay. Um, once I'm ready and I have the image where I want it at, it is now time to create what you call a decal. And you will find that feature right here under the word rib called create. And then you select decal. Click on the arrow that next to image, then click on the image itself. Identify that you want the image wrapped around the top surface. Face and surface are the same thing. So I've checked that box off. And the last thing I got to do is select the face arrow and click on the surface or face I want the image wrapped to. And then I hit OK. And then there you see it, I now have an image on the top surface of my row.